So today I've mounted the Ultra Racing Strut Bar Brace. You can find these things on eBay, they're a little over hundred bucks, they're not that expensive. It's a strut bar brace. Take all four bolt, uh, nuts off, two for each strut, slide the brace on, tighten the bolts, you're done. Nope, not with this thing. One of them doesn't fit. Slightly off, whatever car they use as a template to make these things, must have been in a wreck or something. So, you're gonna have to get a little bit creative. Get a drill bit, get a ream bit, Christmas tree, whatever you want. Stick in one of the holes, open up the hole. You might have to do this with all four. I found it's easier if you jack up the front of the car by the cross member. That way you relieve some of the stress on the strut bar mounts and bring them out a little bit. That way when you put it on, it fits a lot easier. Tighten down the bolts, lower the car, and the struts stay pointed out a little bit. It's a little bit ghetto to make this thing fit, but the difference, night and day. You can definitely feel turn and change wants to turn in a bit more, and it definitely does not roll as much when you're jerking the wheel side to side during autocross slums. Overall, this is the easy thing you can do to your car to improve your suspension, handling, but be mind, it's not gonna fit right out of the box. You're gonna have to do some work. Not shooting on the country, but it's like made in Malaysia or someplace. It's, they don't drive these cars over there. This isn't even a popular car anyways. I wasn't expecting it to fit something to work off of, but it will require some modification like most things for these mobiles if you already know what you've gotten into.